Good morning, guys, and welcome to a brand new day. Day. Anyway, we are up. Uh, we're leaving. I don't even know where all the clocks are in this house. Like, wherever I am, I can never right see there. a clock. I know. You so it is quarter yes. to nine, 10 to nine actually, and we are getting ready because my doctor's appointment is actually today. Before we get started, I'm gonna ask the girls the exact same question that I asked you guys, and I was actually surprised that most of you guys had the exact same response to my question as what I feel. What do you think is better, a mare field, a gelding field, or a mixed field? Mixed. Why do you think a mixed field is better? Where have you seen a mixed field before? Hi, Macy. A Fiona's, and, and what was it like? Different than where we are now? Yeah? Okay, Gabby, what's better? Mixed. Mixed? Why do you say mixed? Because what happens if you have one gelding and one mare, and then have to be in separate fields? This is what I think, and this is why I asked you guys, because at our current barn, they have separate fields, and the, the mare field, wow, that place is dangerous. It's like, take your life in your hands going in there no not really obviously it's safe but it's not it's it, it's there's attitude up there there is attitude and the geldings they're like all so simple and just like running around and they play and rough house and stuff but the mayor field is not my favorite place to go not you walk in like for your first time ever the horses charge at you yeah like there's attitude out there but anyway, um, obviously there are considerations because obviously some uh, geldings get really dominant when when there are mares around and there are obviously issues to consider. Like Storm did not do well in a mixed herd. He does better in a gelding herd. In a gelding field. This is super interesting. That, all that herd dynamics is super interesting to me and I loved all of your guys' responses so thanks so much for that. Gabby always takes over the seat, the patient seat. Gabby, you're a professional patient. Sylvie and I always take the chairs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, what if you needed a nap and you have to wait for your mom at the doctor? Like, why not just lay down and, and rest? Okay, so that was such a crazy chest appointment. Arthritis. Yeah, I learned so much. Apparently, I have a severe arthritis. I got a copy of my report. I have severe osteoarthritis in my spine, in my back, you guys. In my back, in my Gross lower back. And before I had my injury, I had zero pain. Like, I don't hardly have any pain ever. And I said, you know, like, oh, that's weird because my husband has severe arthritis and he has so much pain. And he was just reminding me how, like, arthritis starts so long before you have pain. But the thing is, is I have severe arthritis. So you think I would have some pain by now. But yeah, anyway, he told me that he doesn't think I should ever ride a horse again. Did you hear him say that, Gabby? Yeah. He said never ride a horse again. My doctor told me never ride a horse again. He said that it's not worth it, it's not worth the thing, but I think a lot of it is because he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand that, that it's exercise, that it's, that it's. There's thigh muscles, how that it, Yeah, you like he muscles? doesn't understand the whole process, but he said you that get he. Up muscles from holding on to your horse for your life when yeah, you're about to fall like, off? Yeah, like, he doesn't understand. And he did say like, you know, if I, I insist that I'm going to ride again, that, um, we'll like talk about it a little bit later like he has a choice because I'm gonna ride again you guys like I said I enjoy it it's fun for me and worst case scenario all I do is ride with my kids on trails and stuff like I don't know it's not something I want to give up and just because my body on paper looks bad um I'm not ready to just cave in and be that. I'm ready, like, I, I, I have no, other than having so broken pelvis, I, I, have no, I feel like 30. If I had a twisted ankle and couldn't ride for three months, I would still be riding. Yeah, so he said I'm not allowed to ride for two more months and I have to come back. I'm also gonna have a bone density test just to make sure that my my bones are, are okay. But yeah, crazy, crazy appointment at the doctor. Like, yeah, crazy so crazy. Doctor. So many changes at our house every single day, you guys. Like, little changes turn into big changes. This is what happens every night when Sam comes home from work. He brings a whole new load. Which I hate. Of, yeah, the girls have to help carry I it in. Mmm, yeah. school books. So I'll unpack all this and he'll take these boxes home tomorrow and bring more stuff. Don't put it up there, that's too high. I won't be able to get it. Just put it on the ground. Another new change, weird lighting, it's twilight, is our driveway is getting done, you guys. It's gonna be this big, huge drive around driveway, and it's gonna go, it's gonna go all the way down and around by the barn, so it'll be easy with our trailer. Another thing that my 
my doctor said today was that because of the arthritis, which I'm not having any issues with, but I will have issues down the line, he he said, um, is that I should lose weight. And I was like, I am already on that, you guys. It has been almost exactly four weeks since I fell off Stella, and I have not made a single mistake in my diet. I am only eating healthy food. I have not overeaten a single solitary time. Like there have been no mistakes in a month. None. Um, that's how committed and, and I got, I need to be healthy. Like that was such a huge wake up call for me because I feel like I could have saved myself if I had more strength and if I wasn't so heavy. Like I, it's just been stuck in my mind and I'm never going to be chubby riding a horse ever again. Sometimes God tells you things and sometimes he like really tells you something. I call you up in the middle of right, this is gonna tell the test. Right, Storm? See how good your massage did? Gabby wants him to be the boss of his field. I don't because I hate pushy horses. I call you up in the middle by dreams ain't feeling all right you give me comfort say just give it some time by the end of our talk i'm feeling just fine you and i will
Bella. Wow, all your hay is done already. They get oh, more hay. We need another lick it. And your lick it is done? I mean, not her, her salt lick? How long has she had that salt lick? Stella, you are eating way too much salt, Missy. Like, we just bought that not that long ago. Missy Storms. Hey, Stormy Poo. Hey, handsome. Oh, yeah, you're slow on your salt lick, huh? Oh, I see hay in your mouth. Oh, your hay's gone too. Wow, good job finding this blanket so fast. You have the neck. Is the neck black? Yep. So Storm has a uh, winter blanket with a hood. Yeah, and Stella has, she's just putting this purple one back on. So from now on, when it gets warmer out, like it's been, she's gonna start wearing this insulated rain sheet because she's really losing a lot of hair. And okay. uh, when it gets cold, she'll have this mid-weight. Because she's staying right by Yeah, you. you can tell that she poops in the corner. Isn't that good? Good girl. She's clean in her stall. Yeah, smell. Mm-mm. Smell. <laughs> Don't make me walk backward. I'll break myself. Oh, yeah, she'll break the pelvis all over Okay, get changed in your horse's blanket. Hello, Blinky. Look at how receptive she is. She's like, I'm bored, I got nothing to do, I want love. Can you see the horse? 
So the thing with Stella is that when I put the camera on her and I look through the viewfinder or I look through the screen, she looks so thin. But when I look at her in real life, she does not look that thin. Time in the vlog after the chiropractor, um, I went to go catch Stella in the arena and she went galloping and then she trotted up to us and Yeah, started. I know. So on Sunday, we're going to do a really fun play day with Kaylee. Like... Just she playing. Can all, you can get all your energy out, but mm -hmm. as long as you trot up to it. It smells Sabrina. You think he smells Sabrina? So Sabrina, this used to be, um, if you guys don't remember, this is a champion horse blanket. It's one of my favorite brands. You can only get them it in Canada. So long, like it is no such good quality, yeah. It's thick and nice and, what are you doing? Yeah, I might order some more actually because uh, the hoods are nice. There's like, we've never had a problem with these blankets. I'd go in there, but I'm worried I won't be able to move fast enough if he, if he tries to block me in. What do you think? Is this the first time he's ever worn it? Yeah. Yeah, this is the first time he's ever worn it. That's her best friend. Best. Yeah, her best friend beside her. Cutie. Yeah, it's not her one, but it's her like. Cutie. Um, so the thing with Stella is that we're not putting a super, super heavy blanket on her um, because, one. yeah, it's a mid-weight. So she's going to maybe lose a little bit of weight, but I don't know. I don't like that. I saw a horse shivering one day. It killed me. Yeah, she's like, look at me. Where don't leave me. Yeah, listen to this. Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree. She's just saying to her, like, you're not leaving. I know. Oh, look at that. You're not leaving. She does. She does not like to be bored. She likes to have, she likes to do stuff. Like, people are thinking. I have my friend, but then I won't have my mom here. People have said, like, don't just bring her. Don't just bring her in the arena and walk around with her. She likes it, you guys. Like, she likes to be with us, and this is what our goal is, is to make her a part of us. Yeah, how come you have so many gray hairs? You're only 12. She's 12. She's an old lady. It's funny because when we have our horses at our own barn, this will be like a nightly thing, like a regular thing. Like, especially in the summer, we we'll probably never leave them. We'll, we'll never ever leave them. Yeah, they'll just be fun. They'll be like, take me back to the old barn. I need a rest from you guys. Well, Storm will love the treats. <laughs> Oh, he got a new blanket. Did you get a new blanket? Mm -hmm. 